When you cook a turkey on Thanksgiving, chances are it's a broad-breasted white. In fact, this breed of turkey has become so common that other, older breeds, known as heritage stock, are in turn becoming rare. The story is the same for many types of livestock, and farmers like John Caveney have decided to take action. Part of what Patrick Martins had done with Slow Food is contact the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy and they came up with a marketing strategy that says the best way to preserve a, you know, a rare bird is to eat it, you know, create an economic driver for someone to raise these things. Caveney said that one of the main reasons heritage breeds have caught on is taste. You know, when people ask about what a, what a heritage turkey tastes like, um, I say, well, you know, think of a, a tomato that you grow in your garden or one that you would, um, you'll maybe buy from uh, at a local farmer's market or something in the summer and compare that to a greenhouse tomato that you would get from Mexico or Holland or something like that. And you know, so you're going to have, you know, these heritage breeds of meat just have a more intense flavor. Rick Bogue of Golden Guernsey Dairy in Glen Ellen, Illinois also cites taste as a reason for raising his heritage Guernsey cows, not to mention the health benefits. She gives the best tasting milk uh, and it's uh, full of 30% uh, you know, more vitamin A and 25% more butter fat and all these things that uh, make it uh, a high quality milk. And it also has the A2 link which is a protein link that has not been found to, um, to influence the, uh, the coronary heart disease or diabetes that the A1 or the A3 do. Also there's an aesthetic uh uh, position to this too. I mean, it, it, the, the heritage chickens are, uh, to me at least, are much nicer. You know, they're they're uh, different uh, 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 configuration, different stature, different colors, different uh, everything. You know, everything with different kind of combs on them. Uh, you know, everything is is, and each breed has got its own unique uh, characteristics. You know. Lydia Andronic of Belmont Feed and Seed said that in recent years, Chicagoans have started buying more and more heritage chickens for their backyards. The most commonly purchased will be the, the Rhode Island Red. It, it's very popular around Chicago. Um, I do sell quite a few of them. And, um, and the, the Plymouth Rocks. Haveney and others contend that diversity is another good reason to raise or purchase heritage livestock and products. Yeah, I mean, what if, what if we only had white turkeys to eat, or Cornish cross chickens, or only one kind of cattle, or one kind of hogs? I mean, you know, all these different breeds have different flavors, and then depending where the breed, how the breed is raised, and how the breed evolved over time in the, in the um, environment, all that, you know, changes the uh, flavor subtly, just like some tomatoes taste different than other tomatoes. So it would just, it seems it's a, it's, it's a real shame to lose that um, uh, gourmet diversity, but it's even more important if, if, if we're looking at it from a food security thing, that what if we get some disease and we have no genetics to fall back on to try to get a, a new equivalent, or we just don't have anything to eat. All these commercially raised chickens they have today, they're, they're all uh, highly inbred and if they ever have some kind of a virus, you know, uh, you could wipe out everything. And, and with the uh, heritage breeds, you got more of a chance to have better immunity and different immunity, you know. So you can always come back with that and bring that back into the commercial uh, part of the poultry business, you know. Luckily, Bogue said, the notion is catching on quickly. The heritage breeds, um are going to make a comeback at the grassroots level in this country because it's not about volume, it's about quality. And the heritage breeds have the highest quality, whether it's a Guernsey or a Jersey or there's a lot of different types. Perpetuating these rare breeds is, is um, you know, I think it's important for our quality of life and, and probably the uh, sustainability of the planet. Um, I think people are getting more aware of the fact that they want a high quality, uh, nutritionally based um, diet. And that starts with, for me, it starts with milk. So just support the, the person that's got the heritage cows and that you wanna, you wanna support and, and the rest will take care of itself. Okay. This is Sarah Moore and Janelle Schroeder from Medill Reports.